Here's a regular candle that I make. This is the mega candle. Hey everybody, it's Tiana. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm the owner and creator of Winding Wick Candles where I make decorative and unique candles and today this is the first time I've ever done something like this but I wanted to challenge myself so I created a mega candle. This candle is 11 pounds total and the wax is 5 pounds and the jar itself I think is 6 pounds. So here's a close look at the candle and I'm going to show you guys how I made this so let's get started. To start off I wanted to pick fragrances to kind of go together and theme together so I wanted like bakery scents and the layers I wanted them to all kind of melt and come together and create a really nice scent um, so I went ahead and shopped my stash for scents that I already own What I did next was I went into my silicone mold drawer and picked out some molds that I think would match each layer. I was really excited to use the ice cream cone mold because it's not one that I usually use so I knew I had to use that. As I was making the embeds, it was around 10 p.m. and I knew I needed to grab some coffee. So I went to Dunkin' Donuts and grabbed some 10 p.m. coffee. Once I finished up my embeds, I started the process of wicking the candles. I hate wicking candles. You would think it'd be as simple as just sticking a wick in a jar, but if you want the candle to burn correctly and burn evenly, you really have to make sure you choose the right wicks. So I went with a seven inch zinc wick and I referred to like a wicking chart. And according to this chart, the wicks that I had burn like a three inch diameter. So I went ahead and got a glass that was pretty much three inches in diameter and I traced the um, glass on a piece of paper. What I did next is I folded each circle in half and then I took a hole punch and I punched right in where the middle would be of each circle. I did this because it's going to be a guide for where I need to put the wicks. So I layered these circles into my jar um, so I can kind of get a, a reference of the 3 inch diameter and how this is going to melt my candle in the end. So originally. I was gonna put four wicks, but then my husband came along and he helped me, and we did some algebra. We got mathy. We figured out the um, area of the jar and we kind of did math to figure it out. Nine into 49. 
five and some change. Yeah, five and some change. So five weights. I needed to kind of create a guide on how I wanted to layer this candle. So I measured with a ruler where I wanted the wax to end up in the jar. And it was about five and a half inches from the bottom of the jar. And I just did about one inch layer since I had five layers. Um, and I marked it off with a crayon. Now it's time to place the wicks. So what I do is I just have a reusable straw and I just jam the wick into the straw, put some hot glue on the end, and this is a really cool, easy way to place the wicks into your containers. Here's my very detailed sketch of how I wanted the candle to end up. Wax is going in the melter and it's time to create candles finally at 2 in the morning. This process is very messy and I ended up having to wipe down the jar after every layer so that it wasn't like a whole bunch of fingerprints and things inside of the jar. The bottom half of my candle was very brown. If I do this again, I may have to kind of make more distinct layers. So when it got to the pink part of the candle, I really liked the contrast of the pink and the strawberries. It was so delicious looking.
I use the excess strawberry shortcake wax to pipe on to my little wax ice cream cones. Ice cream cones are my favorite part of this whole candle. They look so delicious and real. We are done with the strawberry shortcake layer. Now it's time to move on to the final layer, which is the birthday cake layer. So now it's time to top the candle off with the final touches. The ice cream cones went in, the macarons went in. I threw some sprinkles on there. I finished this project at 4.45 in the morning. That's how long it took me to make this candle. Here's the candle. I've got, I've got my trusty lighter and I'm gonna clip these wicks down. I think I'm gonna leave them a little bit higher than normal. Thank you guys for joining me on this video. I hope you liked this challenge, this new challenge. I enjoyed it even though it took me forever to do. If you like these kind of videos, I will do more challenge videos and make more themed mega candles in the future if you like it. But just let me know down below. Until next time, bye guys.